So today we're going to be raging about Captain Price from the COD series of uh, World at War, um, well not World at War, but really, Modern Warfare, and also his appearances in the first Call of Duties, where Captain Price technically would have started World would have started in World War One as a private, probably, and at minimum age, uh, he would have had to been 18, which means he would have been born in 1896. Which that means in 1996, he would have been 100 years old. So, by that point, it would even be surprising if he was still alive. Then not to mention, in games like MW2 and MW3, that take place in around 2010, maybe 2013, you know, we're fast-forwarding another 16 years. So, you know, they need to be 116, 117, maybe even 120 about. So, you know, that's honestly surprising that, let's say, from MW... Like the first Call of Duty Modern Warfare, where he gets blown up by a propane tank, a well, propane tank truck, and somehow ends up surviving because someone gave him CPR chest percussion things. As to how he ends up surviving is because of that, I can't even explain. Let alone he should have died because he would have been around 108 at the time, and even if he was still alive, he would have been in the hospital of some sort, on, on some sort of a life support. Then in MW2, oh, we haven't even gone over that yet, though. We can't even... He gets shot about three, four hundred times during the campaign. Yeah, that's a pretty big deal. And then, then he ends up falling down a waterfall, face first, didn't drown somehow, ends up washing up on shore along of Soap, who we who will go over another time, uh, how Soap should have died, but still, Captain Price then manages... To somehow beat up this guy who was just in a ca who was just in a helicopter crash, and then he ends up beating up for a good 30 seconds. Then he ends up getting beat up for a while, doesn't die from that somehow, and then he ends up after all of that, along with being 120, pick up soap and walk away with him and bring him to Nikolai who wants some vodka. And then, in MW3, which I didn't even play because it was that terrible, so one of my friends had explained to me exactly what happened. Basically, if you know anything about MW3, you know Captain Price should be dead because, first of all, he gets shot a good 100 times by a helicopter. Okay, he's wearing a juggernaut suit. That's not very pu bulletproof to a 50 caliber machine gun. I mean, we're talking a 50 caliber round. That will tear through basically anything. That will destroy a concrete wall. That is, there's no way he'd ever be able to survive that. And then, he manages to fall down an elevator shaft or something like that. He falls down a good 40 feet. And someone, and he, there, he lands back first. Someone else on top of him who was fighting. And then, he manages to end up killing that person. And just got up and smoke a cigar. And that's another thing. I mean, this guy's been smoking since 1896. I mean... That's pretty impressive, you know, that that you'd still be alive, smoking, and being 120, and getting shot by a helicopter, and previously falling down a waterfall, and even before that, end up getting blown up by a tanker truck full of random gasoline and stuff like that. So, as to how Captain Price can survive through all this, there's only one explanation. They decided to increase his, his immortality factor permanently. The one like what they did to Reznov, where he's now dead. So, and then there's also Dimitri, who we will also go over later. Dimitri, that freaking moron. Yes. Well, that's basically ends with Captain Price. He should have died way before Modern Warfare even took place. Uh, but, who knows? Maybe Captain Price is, like, permanently alive because he's retarded, I don't know. You're making fun of me? I'm Captain Price. How are you alive? Life <coughs> alert. <coughs> uh, Life alert. Somebody. Now, as you can see, this is probably what would happen to Captain Price alive. He would go to kill someone, he'd raise his gun, then he'd just have a heart attack from even opening his eyes to look at them. Because, realistically, when it comes to someone of Captain Price's age, literally doing, like, even the slightest thing would barely even let him live. <laughs> Are you 
finally dead. Good thing I'm indestructible. <laughs> <laughs> He'll, he'll die someday. Maybe it'll be in, like, the year 3029, but maybe one day Infinity World will finally decide to freaking kill that stupid son of a bitch. Well, I guess we're done here, then.